Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the style of your components within Flash. Now I've gotten a lot of questions on how to change the style of your components based on the series that I did a while ago on creating um, different components within Flash and using the default components. So I've gotten a lot of requests on exactly how you can change the default appearance of those. So to get started we're just going to open up Flash and I'm going to show you what I mean. If we go to Control test movie. This is one of the files that I created within that series. It's to create a scroll bar component within Flash. So this is how it looks by default. You have your little scroll bar here with the three uh, lines and you can scroll it and it turns blue when you actually click on it and drag. So basically I'm just going to be showing you how you can take and customize this because um, you might want something other than the default. So I'm going to close this out. Now the way that you are going to customize this is by clicking on your component. So right here is my component um, which is called the scroll pane. And so I'm just going to double click on it. And what happens then is it brings you into a screen where you can see different skins. Now this is the dis disabled skin for uh, the scroll pane. You have the normal skin so you can see where you have like the drop shadow and things if you wanted to adjust that. And then you have your scroll bar skins right here. So this is what we're going to be affecting today. So if we double click within this, you can see that we now bring up the up, over, disabled, and down states of that scroll bar. So basically, if we go back to here, the up is whatever it looks like regularly. Here, I'm just going to put this off so you guys can see it. Up is whatever it looks like right here. Over is if I'm actually hovering over it. So you can see it kind of gets a little blue outline over it, and that's about it. And then disabled um, is if it's not actually being used, and then down it'll actually take and change and for whatever reason it doesn't have a little thing on down but it does if you double click within it. So um, what we're going to be doing is just adjusting probably the up and over state for now so I'm just going to double click on this and so you can see what happened there. If I go back you can see let's let's take and just change the lines on on top of here. So you can see that each of these scroll uh, pieces have these lines here. So you can actually take and select each different piece of this to adjust it. So if I take that, and let's say that I don't want that, so I'm just going to delete it. I can take and, or I can just add it back in, and if I double click within it, then I'm basically selecting all of them. So if I take and click on it and delete it, it deletes all of them at once. So then if I take and I just say I want, I don't know, a black bar instead for whatever reason, we can take and create a little black piece there. I'm going to grab that, and I don't know, we'll zoom back in because Flash is temperamental, and we'll just take and put that right there. Now you might have to position that around depending on how it actually renders out, because sometimes it changes it from like what you actually see here isn't what it actually shows, so you might have to tweak it a little bit. But you can see now by going into that movie clip, we have changed all of them at one time. I'll zoom in a little bit for you to see that. So now you can see we have all of these changed over. So now you can get a pretty custom look. So we go back to our scroll bar, and then say that we want to change the background of this right here. So we'll double click into that. Basically if you want to change something just double click into it and just click on the pieces and then you can just double click within those. So I double click within that and then within it again and so now I'm down to the basic shape. So all of these components are comprised of basic shapes and basic um, images and so right here we have a basic shape and with basic shapes in flash you can change pretty much whatever you want this the shape of them um, the color of them whatever so let's say we want it to be a blue so I'm gonna click on the little paint bucket over here and select something like blue and that's probably good so we'll take and we'll go all the way back out to scroll bar so now you can see we have a nice blue scroll bar now we want that to probably be the same as the over um, so we have the up and the over we want those to probably be the same so again double click within it and then right here you can basically, um, you can't do what we just did before um, right here. So again you need to double click within that to get to the shape. So it should say when you click on it shape up here in the corner. So we're going to click on that again, select the same blue, go all the way back to scroll bar and so now you can see we have those. Okay, so now what we can do is take and go to control test movie and hopefully it updates properly. All right, now you can see that our scroll bar is updating properly, and the up and over are fine now. The down is still different because when you actually click on it, that's um, targeted by this one right here, so it looks different. So you would have to adjust that as well. Um, within here, if you could see, the um, piece seemed to be off a little bit, so we'll just take and 
double click on that and this will be dragging all of them over and we'll just push it over to the side now this is what I was kinda of talking about where if we do control test moving it should probably center that up pretty well um, you might have to tweak it a little bit what you see in here isn't exactly always what you're gonna see um, out there as far as positioning so just play with it now you can see it's right there in the middle where we would want it so Basically, this gives you the freedom to do whatever you want with these flash components. If you don't remember, they're up under Window and then down under um, Components down here. So you basically have all these different components you can use, and they already have built-in functionality, and you can now you can customize them to look however you want. So you can really save a lot of time when you're actually making things with these flash components, especially now that you know how to customize them. So again, you don't have to use um, specific flat colors like this. You can use gradients. You can use um, other things such as images that you bring in in order to customize them. So basically the sky's the limit on this uh, now that you know how you can do it. So have fun making some pretty cool uh, components, some pretty cool skins for your components. And uh, I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment to this channel. And I will see you next week with a new video tutorial. Thanks for watching.